so I was just walking here and I came across an absolutely monster. That's a Florida cottonmouth. His head is or over here. Literally just walked right on the si side of the trail and this snake appeared. You can see him right there. Really, I mean, there is water very close by, but it's off. It's rare to see them just roaming around the woods like this. Not exactly near water, but. Yeah, there we go. It's cool to see cottonmouths during the daytime. Most of the time I just see them at night. But he's definitely, he's a big snake for sure. That's really awesome. All right, so we just got a cottonmouth on the road and it looks like he suffered some tail damage here, which isn't good, but he seems to be doing just okay without it. And he's working his way right off the road, which is pretty good. We'll keep on going and see what else we can find, but there's a little cottonmouth without its tail. We just road cruise this like super skinny cottonmouth. It's a good size. It's a borderline adult, but I haven't seen this uh, an adult this size this skinny. So we'll just let it be and keep on going. Well, it's after sunrise, and we have our. Well, I guess this is technically our first live snake of the day. It's another Florida cottonmouth. So make sure this guy gets off the road safely, and we'll keep on going. There goes a yellow rat snake, slithering along. This great egret, I'm going to zoom into oblivion here, had caught a, has something, it looks like a glass lizard in its mouth, but I'm not 100% sure on it. But, yeah, it's this is happening more frequently. I've been seeing a lot of birds catching snakes and glass lizards. Just a part of nature. Just road cruise, this is a striped mud turtle that's right on the L line here. So, we'll make sure this turtle gets off the road safely. And we'll keep going, see what else we can find. All right, everyone, we have this as a male Florida box turtle um, that I just found. You can tell it's a male because the shell is more, not as domed, females are more domed. And the bottom of the plastron has a little divot or a concavity, which if you give me a second, you can kind of see there a little bit. But we're going to release this guy, make sure, let him go about his business and... Yeah, there's an up-close look. He's got like a lot of blue around his head, so that's a really pretty individual. But we'll release him in a second. All right, so here he goes about his business. Awesome. Road cruised a snapping turtle. This is only the second snapping turtle that I've seen this year. So get a good look at this guy. Road is really hot right now. That's an awesome find. I think they're just some of the most unique turtles that we have. So it's def down here, it's something you don't really see every day that much. Just road cruise this absolutely monster female Flor uh, Florida softshell turtle. This thing is bigger than most snapping turtles or common snapping turtles that I see, and she's just gonna work her way right off the road. And she's gonna go into this wetland over here. But just incredible how big these animals get. And I do believe that they actually get bigger than this, but. They are incredibly fast on land. They've sacrificed defense for speed and she's just gonna go truck right into the wetland. All right. So that is a female Peter's Rock Agama and it looks like that she is eating an insect. Maybe some type of grasshopper or kitty dad. I am not 100% sure. Get a little closer to her. here yeah and there she goes all right I just caught this anole you can tell it's a male because of the red fanning I think this is a brown anole um, get a better look right there to zoom in a bit yeah unfortunately this guy threw his tail um, but we're gonna let him go now and we're gonna just keep on going and see what else we can find 
So that lizard on the rock there is a brown basilisk, which I believe this actually might be a female, unless that behind its head is actually its crest, which I think is just a leaf, but yeah, we see basilisks, oh, there it goes. They're definitely not as common as agamas and iguanas, but they're definitely around. All right, we got a baby alligator on the side of the road. This one was likely born last year, so that's pretty cool. All right, here's the iguana in hand. Well, we just came across this van that's seen clearly seen better days. Look at the front end of this van over here. Yeah. I probably had to break it to winch it out of the water, out of a canal. That's crazy. We think this van was probably submerged underwater. They just got pulled out of the water, which is crazy. We did it again. We did it again. I don't know what it is about this spot, but this is the third <laughs> coral snake that we've seen no. here. Yeah, I can believe And this it's spot. in since mid-August, this is like the fifth coral snake that I've seen personally. So I don't know, late summer has been excellent for coral snakes. I, I really just, I don't understand what it, what it's, why it's been like this, but I'm not complaining in the slightest. There's a coral snake in the grass now. We're just gonna let them go or her about their business and we'll keep on going. But super, super lucky to have seen all these coral snakes in the last month. I mean, I thought they were some of the hardest snakes to find and they still are really challenging. We've just been really lucky in this past month. So I'm not complaining in the slightest. I'm very happy we got this snake, but we'll leave it be, see what else we can find. And maybe, who knows, maybe we'll see a second coral snake. That hasn't happened yet. We've only seen one per night. All right, so we just got, this is a young baby corn snake. And the crazy thing is last time I was here, uh, we got a baby corn snake too. But I think this actually might be a different one. This one's even smaller, so which is crazy. So that's two, I'm pretty confident this is a different individual. I've, so I've seen two corn snakes and three corals at this one spot, which has just been crazy, so. All right, really cool. Well, I had a feeling come out on the road in the evening and look who's coming right at us. That is a gorgeous Eastern Diamondback, the first one I've seen in about like two months, which is just really awesome. This is definitely not a big diamond back, but it's not a small one either. I'd say this is about a two footer. So I haven't really seen one that's around this size, which is awesome. So the diamond back has worked its way 
off the road. It's probably just going to chill out here for a bit. Maybe even go back on the road. So we'll keep on driving, see maybe, who knows, what else we can find. But always amazing to come across an Eastern Diamondback. I just got a baby Eastern Diamondback. This is the second Eastern Diamondback I've gotten tonight. Wow, two Eastern Diamondbacks in one day. This is a little baby I just found on the road. Or maybe it was, I think this guy was at least born maybe last year. But oh my god, that's absolutely insane. I'm going to make sure this guy doesn't get hit. Although we're on a very quiet road. But really freaking awesome right now. Two Eastern Diamondbacks today. So the Diamondback's pretty much working its way along the in the grass here. You can see its little head sticking up. This is so unusual to see Diamondbacks after dark, but in South Florida, it happens more often than you think. I've actually seen an Eastern Diamondback after dark now three times, and I know other people who have. So when you think of a diurnal snake down in the Everglades, they move at all times of the night, which is really wild. So awesome. Good evening everyone and we are out tonight doing some evening cruising. I'm actually going to meet Peter tonight and we're going to do some herping here in the Everglades and hopefully we can find some cool stuff but I'm just driving down and we got this beautiful landscape you can see around here hoping for some good weather and hopefully we can find some snakes. So there's this really cool bird over here, um, let me zoom in. I think these are bitterns, which I've actually never seen before, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, I've seen a couple now that are just on the edge of the wetland here, and you can just see this beautiful Everglades habitat that we're exploring right now. So that's a pretty cool find. No herp so far, but hopefully that'll change. First snake of the night is a cottonmouth that's missing its tail. This is the second cottonmouth I've seen. Oh, he just lost his tail. You can see the out, all right, he's still in the bushes. Yeah, he recently just lost his tail. I don't know if it was like a predation attempt or whatever, but all right, we finally got a snake on the board. It's the common cottonmouth, so let's get back on the road, see what else we can find. All right, we got our second cottonmouth of the night. This is another good sized cottonmouth that worked his way onto the road here. We'll make sure this guy will get gets off safely and we'll keep on going, but two cottonmouths so far, just after sunset. Well, it happened again. This is the third Eastern Diamondback I've seen in less than a week. And yeah, that's really cool. This is another baby. It's that time of year. Little snakes are moving. But really cool. He only has like one button on his rattle. Awesome. He's really so cute. Just got a ribbon snake. And there it goes. Just got a Florida, an adult Florida scarlet snake. It's working its way in that direction. You can still kind of see it there. Got, and there's another one over here, George. Are you serious? Yeah, under that log. So we got two ribbon snakes. There's one right here. Let's see, get a little closer. And then you said, Peter, the other one's right under the log there. Uh, it just shot under the log, so it's maybe on the other side of it now. Um, I don't maybe it got away. Yeah. But there's this one right here. <laughs> Pretty cool. Maybe Scarlet Snake, second alive Scarlet of the night. And there he goes, just trucking along. All right, we got another Scarlet Snake. Oh, he's twitching. He's doing his little thing. Zooming along. There he goes. What? All right, well, it's happened to, bef to me before and just happened again. So this is a corn snake that's climbing up a tree. Let's get a good look at this guy right here. Look at that. 
Yeah, he's just scaling up this tree here. I'd say this corn stinks right around two feet long. He's on a monster corn, but just get a good look at that. That's really awesome. I love when I see corn snakes climb trees. And this, I wonder, I think I might have seen a corn snake climb on this tree before, but yeah, he's just working his way up the tree there, going into the bromeliad, which is just wild. Corn snake climbing up a tropic into a tropical plant. Wow. I just looked up and I saw this guy here. Just awesome. And he's he's a way up there now. Great. We have our second snake climbing a tree tonight, and this is a little ribbon snake. Not something you think of, of when it comes to arboreal species. You think of, oh, maybe a corn snake, but an aquatic ribbon snake climbing a tree. That's something you don't see all the time, which is crazy. So it's been a great night so far, and we're seeing a lot of interesting stuff, so I'm not complaining in the slightest. I'm having a good old time. Well, the one snake that I cannot find for the life of me are ribbon snakes. I have walked past several of them, and here's another ribbon snake. I don't know how many we've seen tonight, but it's been definitely a few, and this guy's just coming out of this mowed grass right here. You can see the little white mark right in front of the eye. So we're dealing with a ribbon snake. It's been a great night. Keep finding snakes, so we're going to keep on herping. Well, we have another Florida Scarlet Snake on the night. This one is probably the most vibrant colored one of the non-babies that we've seen. So I don't know how many Scarlet Snakes we're up to, but snakes are still moving. So it's been a really great night. I can't complain. We'll keep on going and see what else we can find. We got the target of the night, and it's as found. This is a young, dusky pygmy rattlesnake. And with this find, I have now seen in the last week every single venomous snake in South Florida. There are four species, and in less than a week, I've seen all of them. I want to keep this, make sure this guy stays as found so I can get some pictures of him, but little baby pygmy rattlesnake curled up by this tree. At this spot, it is the first pygmy that I have seen since February, which is awesome. So we're going to get some pictures of this guy. The night has been made. We got a baby eastern diamondback and a pygmy in the same night. So here's the pygmy curled up by the tree here. I just realized something because this is pretty significant for another reason. I've never seen two species of rattlesnakes in the same day before. So we got a baby eastern diamondback earlier and now we have a pygmy rattlesnake. So that is pretty significant for me. I am more than satisfied. We're going to keep on going, see what other snakes we can find, but it's been a great night so far. You got a crocodile just sitting underneath the water here. You'd never know. You no idea. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Never get tired of seeing oh, crocodiles. Kind of yeah, it looks like he's it. Very slowly rising up to say hi. Here he comes. Dun 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 dun. There he is. How's it going, buddy? Got something going on with your lower jaw there, but that's really awesome. Their eyes are so pretty. This will be a good modern day dinosaur. We just noticed this. This croc has a fishing lure stuck in his mouth. He needed a lure. Let me get it. So you can see right there, just sticking out of his mouth there. I'm sure that doesn't feel too nice, but I value. Yeah, we're getting a great look at him right now. That's really awesome. What we're doing right now is I actually ended up crashing at Peter's place, so I am working my way back to my house. So we're basically going to do the same road, but it's going to be a very early morning cruise at 6.20 in the morning. So 
Maybe we'll find some cool stuff on our way back. Only one way to find out.